The following clips are from a Google Meet we had today. Um, earlier in the school year, my students read articles on Kenny Moore and were super inspired by him. The original plan was him to surprise them in the classroom, but that fell through with the way the school year ended, so he was kind enough to surprise them on Google Meet. Uh, they were thrilled. I was thrilled. Uh, he was packed with so many words of wisdom that I just think other people need to hear. So um, I hope you enjoy it as much as we all did. Who's, who's somebody that we read an article about and talked about and was inspired by? The famous football player that came from Valdosta. Kenny Moore. Kenny uh, Moore, yes. He might have sent something for y'all. No way. For real, Best Buy. He might have sent something for you. Let me see. Are you there? I'm here. Hey, Kenny Moore. Hey, how are you? Good. All right. Now y'all can unmute your mics and like do whatever you're going to do. What's the real reaction? Yo, what's up? I'm shaking. <laughs> Bro, that is fun. You say what? That is so fun, bruh. Hey, can you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> really, really. Oh my god. That is so cool. That's awesome. Are y'all doing all right? Oh. Wow, that is cool. Let's see the guy in here. Um, I think right now in you guys' life, um, you know, being a seventh grader, going into eighth grade, things may seem a, a bit vague. It may seem a bit out of reach and too far to, to accomplish, but um, you just have to fall back on what your parents taught you, what Miss Ashley Kenny has taught you, uh, and that's persevering through all the adversity that you guys are going to seek throughout life. So. Um, going into eighth grade, it'll be your last year in middle school before you go to the high school. And um, it'll be some challenges next year for you guys, but you just have to keep um, doing your best in school and any other extra ac ac curricular activities that you guys are going to do um, as you seek high school and um, just do the right thing. You know, you guys leave your parents' house every single day. Um, and there's so many temptations. I'm sorry if you, if you can hear that. There's so many temptations, um, you know, whenever you go to school, as you meet so many friends, but you know which friend is, is a good friend and you know which friend is a bad friend. So um, all of you know what's right from wrong. Um, my biggest, um, I guess, I guess the thing that made me so structured and balanced along the way from middle school to high school, college, and now a professional was not letting my family down. And that was the biggest inspiration I could have was my mom seeing me play on the field, um, watching me have good grades, and just seeing me do well throughout life. I didn't want to let her down because if I let her down, then she would be very disappointed in me. She would be upset. And, you know, I really didn't want that. Yeah, y'all are a bunch of good kids. Y'all are some of the best kids I have ever taught. You've got to get head on your shoulders. But he he is where he is today because he never strayed from his heart. And I want that for y'all. I want you to keep the good head on your shoulders. Keep making wise choices, even if it's not popular. Um, he's just a testament to what happens when you stay true to who you are and your values. Um, your friendships can really go a long way in life um, if you let it. And, you know, like I said before, just knowing right from wrong and who's there in your corner. Um, you guys have so many people in your corner that support you. 
and having your teacher reach out to me and, and uh, we're connecting to, to inspire you guys to do better and to be a good person in life. Um, you guys should, you know, thank your teacher um, for doing so for you guys. Because I know we're all going through quarantine and everything. So um, every little thing counts, you know, you just have to um, accept the blessings as they come and, and be appreciative. So um, you should thank your parents. You should thank your family for raising you the way they do. And uh, thank your teachers as well. It's not really a question, but can you just say hey to me so I can take a video of it? Hey, Jackson. Uh, I'm Kenny Moore of the Colts uh, from Valdosta, Georgia. Um, if, if, if I can make it this far, you can too. Um, I just inspire you to be a good student. Um, not not out of the classroom, but in the classroom as well. Uh, and then out of the classroom, just be a good person. You know, accept people for who they are. Be nice to everyone. The golden rule is treating people the way you want to be treated. So um, I just wish you the best going forward. It's great to meet you again, Jackson. Thank you. You made that boy, John. <laughs> Can you, like, do that for me too? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I don't know, just praying for, for, for positive things to happen in you guys' life, the goals and accomplishments that you guys want to reach in life. I just hope all those things flourish. And it will if you work hard and, and believe in the process and the timing itself will line up. Um, just being positive and having a positive mindset um, will help those things flourish as well. Stephanie, what you got? When, when we gonna get to start practicing as a team? Um, we don't know yet. We're, we've just been doing these calls like, like we, we are right now, but it's called Zoom. Um, so yeah. the coats, we've been going Tuesday through Thursdays, um, from, from about 12 to 3. Okay. So, um, yeah, we probably have a few weeks left, um, of the summer. But I, I've been watching the roster, I saw the 90 day roster or the 90 man roster. But oh, yeah. Um, so we have the rookies. They they come and joined the meetings this past week. So we're at, we're at ninety now. So it's yeah. pretty it's pretty exciting for another year. All right. Um, I'm sorry, Madison. I think your question was what helps me calm down and focus on the game. Yes. Like what do you think of before the game to like get calm down? Oh, I think uh, so. So I was talking to the rookies about a week or two ago. And, um, you know, I was just telling them, don't make the moment bigger than it already is. Like, we already know it's a big stage, but at the end of the day, we're just playing football. So I think, you know, for you, it's just, it's just going through life. Like, you just have to enjoy the moment like your, like your teacher told you. Don't make it bigger than what it already is. Enjoy it. Um, as, as I'm riding on the bus to, to get, you know, to the stadium, um, I'm just, I'm just thinking about making my plays. You know, I don't go into the game thinking something bad is going to happen. Um, and, and, and what can I do for those things not to happen? I, I just go ahead and say, I know things are going to happen good and bad, but it's just how I respond to those things happening. Um, you know, we practice throughout the week going into a game. So I just have to fall back on my preparation and my hard work leading up into the game. So, if I know that I've done what I was supposed to do in practice, um, I, I know that um, I'm going to have a good game because all those reps that I've done repetitively throughout the week, um, whenever I get tired, whenever I want to make a play, I can do that because, you know, I've done it throughout the, the week. So um, it's just, it just my preparation and hard work that I put into the game. You know, it, there's, there's no time to be nervous. Kenny, you just have fun. Like you're in the field, you're just having fun. Yeah, I think uh, as far as being a student, you guys, you guys know that feeling whenever you walk into the classroom after long hours at night, leading up into the test. You know the feeling in, when you walk into the classroom on test day, how how confident you are because you know how much you studied. So whenever you pass that test, you know you're going to be so happy and jumpy on the inside, although you know the feeling whenever you go into test day saying you didn't study that much and you didn't do the homework and you weren't prepared to for the study guide and everything. So you know the feeling whenever you walk into the test um, knowing that you, you probably won't pass. 
So there's two types of feelings that you can have as far as being prepared and not prepared. So whenever, whenever um, I go into the game, I make sure that I am prepared because I don't want to have miscues and mistakes and surprises whenever things happen. I'm surprised that this happened because I didn't prepare myself well. So I know both of those feelings as well and going into the classroom, having those types of feelings too. So, um, yeah. And then whenever I do make a big play and I, and I change the game or somebody else make a play, you know, that we've all studied together, uh, that, that just punched me up even more. And I think, I think whenever, I think the more I prepare for a game, the more <laughs> I the clicks and play. Uh, the more I prepare for a game, the, the the more passionate I become about what I do because I know how much work that I put into being the type of football player that I want to be. Um, the more that I do for the community of Valdosta and the community for Indianapolis, the more passionate I become to giving back and helping even more people because I know how much work that I put into. Um, playing the game of football, and then that translating out into the community and helping others too. So um, the more I help others, the more I speak to classrooms like you guys have, um, the more passionate I become for helping you guys and inspiring. So We like to see your dance when you get, you know. Yeah, we like to dance. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, we got to have like a tutorial one day. Okay. Camden wants to know if you remember the pool store. For sure. Uh, Camden, are, is your dad David? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Tell him I said hello. Okay. Yeah, David hired me. Um, I think I was in, I think I was early on in college. Yeah, I worked at the pool store with your dad um, throughout college. Yeah, dad said uh, he hired you and got you to work for today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Joseph wants to know how do you juggle school and sports as a student? Um, like anything else, you know, school and sports comes with a um responsibility and to to make it as far as I have right now and there's a long way to go, you have to be a pro at what you do. And not just saying I have to be a pro because I'm a professional athlete. You have to be a pro as well. And it takes a pro to get those jobs done. So first of all, it starts with mindset. It starts with want to and, and, and wanting to do it. Um, there's a lot of things that you got to do in order for you to do the things that you want to do. So um, in, in order for me to go enjoy vacation, I got to go out here and run. Uh, whenever I get off this call. So um, that's just how you have to look at, you know, school. In order for you to make the honor roll and get the $15 that your parents are going to give you, um, mm -hmm. you have to do the homework and you have to study all night to be able to make the good grades. Um, and, and that's how I pretty much look at life. So um, juggling school and sports was, was pretty tough for me. Uh, I, I have six sisters and – it was always like a competition of like making the best grades and I was always last. So mm -hmm. those are like, that's, that's what inspired me to, to do better because it was always a competition. So competing itself like uh, bred me to be the, 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 the type of person that I am right now um, was trying to do the best I can. And for you, um, it's just putting school first and doing the best that you can in school and that translating um, to sports. So you just have to be a good listener. You gotta be coachable. You have to be coachable in the classroom and whatever sport you play, Joseph, um, to be the type of person and player that you wanna be, so. I almost quit football my freshman year of college um, to go into the Air Force to be an engineer. My mom and I made a bet that if if I do play freshman year, I would stay all four years and think about it after. Or if I didn't play, then I could leave in January, my second semester of college. I ended up playing in college, so freshman year. 
How old were you when you got drafted? So I didn't get drafted. I went undrafted to the New England Patriots, and I was 20. I was 20. I turned 21 at New England. So I was 20 years old. Um, and Jackson wants to know what music do you listen to to calm you down? No, I was 21. Uh, what music calms me down? Mm-hmm. Probably uh, gospel. Probably like church music because like that's that's humbling to me. I'm glad I was able to hop on a call with y'all. Yeah, what do y'all say? You can un- say what you need to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Someone said, how did you know football was was what you wanted to do in your life? Um, so football just, just like, sort of happened. So uh, my junior year of high school, my... I had a classmate convince me to play football. Um, and then I obviously went into senior year and played. Um, in college, I had several coaches tell me that, you know, I was coachable and and they just thought that I would be good at football one day. Um, that pretty ins- that pretty much inspired me to to want to play even more. They like fueled the fire, I guess, to to wanna be passionate to want to take it serious and to want to make the team win and 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 help the team out as much as I can I just I just grew a big passion whenever my coaches um believed in me so that's pretty much what what fueled the fire for me and then from there I just ran with it I just did more work than than I was supposed to um I worked out way more I I, I took practice serious um, there, there's so many different things that I changed whenever um, I got the accolades after each season and took it and took it serious. Um, coachable, to be a coachable person, you have to be a great listener. You have to know what that person is trying to tell you to do or say. I mean, not say I was I was looking at the screen, but uh, you you have to be very mindful of what your teacher wants you to do at, uh, for the day, whether it's participation or uh, completing a paper or whatever it is. Um, you just have to know the, the the tags at stake, and then from there, whenever they give you the the tools and the knowledge and the ability to do what you want to do. You have to do it exactly how they they tell you to. So it's all about um, doing exactly what someone say and how they want to do it. Um, that, that's pretty much being coach, coachable is is just doing what what somebody else wants you to do and exactly how they want you to do it. And not seeing it as being bossed around because if, and you'll learn the people in your life who are truly coaching you versus bossing you. And, and right, right, right. Distinguish the difference. You have to be able to take criticism, and and like I tell my teammates, and like I tell myself, um, you just it's, there's a time and place to 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 be mad, and there's a time and place to be uh, humble. I would want to say because um, you just have to know who's giving you the task, who's trying to correct you. You can't look at it like everyone is trying to belittle you you or just trying to make you mad or, or anything or trying to ruin the day. Um, people actually want to help you and, and, and help you grow. So whenever they try to criticize you, you, get, you just have to take that into account and really understand what they're trying to tell you. See, I wasn't trying to kill y'all the whole year. <laughs> Not y'all surprised. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Kenny, for making it happen. We appreciate you. We're cheering you on. We'll all be a cult fan. Never hear all the world. Always. Go Colts. Go Colts. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. See you. Was that worth it? Worth it. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Every day. Ever.
That was yep. fun. That would have been cool, though, if, like, we were still in school and he walked in the class. No, that was the plan. He was going to um, – we were going to play a video of him walking through a door, and the door was going to open, and y'all were going to turn around, and he was going to walk through the door. Oh, wow. So, it would have been, like been invited then, Miss Stephanie. <laughs> we were then. Um, no, I, I think if you would actually walk through the door in Miss King's classroom, I would have probably passed out. <laughs> no, he is really – the real deal. I mean, I mean, I mean that he, the thing about Kenny is he kept a level head and he knew who he was and who he stood for. And he, that boy wanted to make his mama proud. You have to find somebody or something in your life that you don't want to fail. Even if it's yourself, stay hungry and stay fun and stay just innocent. I mean, you're just a good group of kids. I, I wish we had a different ending to the year. I really do. And I'm so sorry he couldn't walk through the door, but I hope that made up for it just a little bit. You were the best teacher, Miss Kenny. Oh, I love y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm crying. So, everybody good? Uh, yeah, thank you, Miss Kenny. It's a happy thing, not a sad thing, Caroline. <laughs> no, I just get emotional with this kind of stuff. <laughs> I would have cried if we were still in school. I just, I cry all the time. Okay. There's nothing wrong with having tears. Everybody needs to cry every, every now and then. But um, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this year with y'all. Fifth period, you about killed me. But you <laughs> well, a That's true. That is very true. <laughs> you made yeah, me a better period. teacher. Seventh period, thank you for getting it together so I didn't have to go through it twice. Yes, yeah, seventh period. Fifth period, Fifth period, I want to go to a party, party. I'm calling y'all. But I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to, y'all are the ones I'm worried about with the decisions now. Okay? <laughs> Miss Kenny, we got it together. No, we didn't. The end. Yeah. No. yeah. Sixth period, y'all were, were my rock because y'all had to deal with me when I, when I had my day of tears. Fourth period, y'all started my day off hilarious with, the questions of why and what if and how and we drove ourselves crazy <laughs> through philosophy. Like there's just, there was something about each class that was so special and I'm just honored that I was chosen to be a part of your life in this point in your life. But from here on out, just continue being who you are now and you will be fine. Okay. All right. Bye Miss Kenny. Bye, Bye. Miss Kenny. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Miss y'all. Thanks for having me on. Daltrey, stay on for a minute. Okay. Was that not cool? That was awesome.